All right, what's going on, everyone? Um, hopefully this weekend uh, you had a great weekend and you're ready to uh, to learn this week and have some fun. So um, this week we're actually going to be continuing um, with our series with different types of chord progressions. Last week we were in the key of C. Uh, this week we're actually going to work in the key of G, G major. So... Um, that's actually going to be the notes in the key of G major are G. Uh, let me go down an octave. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Again, that's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then G. All right. So the, another way you can think about that is one. Now G is one. Uh, before C would have been one when we are in the key of C, but today G is going to be one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight or one. Eight and one are the same, again, because we have octaves. Octave means eight, so uh, one and eight are the same. So today, the chord progression, as you can see, is it's gonna be a six, one, four, five progression. So we gotta find what is six in the key of G? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. And then remember the rule is all you need to do is skip every other note. So we have E, skip this note, the F sharp, skip that note. And then we have G, skip A, and then we have B. So E, G, B is the first chord. So go ahead and try to play that. E, G, B. All right. Um, the next chord is going to be a four chord. So in the key of G, we need to find four. So one, two, three, four. So C is four in the key of G. So again, you just skip every other note. C, E, G, the C major. So we have G, or excuse me, we have E minor, then we have C major. Again, that's E minor, that's the sixth chord, and then we have C major. Okay, and um, I was actually I went ahead of myself a little bit. So um, one of the chords in between E and C, I accidentally played it, uh, but it's actually gonna be G. It's gonna be the one chord. So find the one, G, and we're gonna play the octave higher. So it's right there. So G, B, D. Got it. So our first chord is gonna be six. That's E minor. And then we're gonna jump right to the one chord, G, B, D. And then the four chord, C, E, G. And then the next chord is going to be um, it's going to be a five chord. So we got to find what note is five in the key of G. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be D. So the rule is you skip every other note. So, and then remember in the key of G, it's not F natural. It's not that note. It's this note. So D, F sharp, and then you skip the next note. Skip that note, and then A. So D, F sharp, A. 
Okay. But today we're going to do something kind of cool. Instead of playing a D major chord, we're going to play a D sus four chord. And so the way you play that is D G A. So you're not playing any black notes. You're just going to play D G A. All right. So it's just sound like that. So let's go over our chord progression one more time. We have six, which is E minor. Then we have one, which is G major. Then we have four. And then we have, uh, by the way, the four chord is C major. Then we have a five, and the five is going to be a sus four chord. So when you put it all together, it sounds like this. Right? It sounds like probably a pop song that you've heard or several pop songs that you've heard. So that's the chord progression we're going to be working with. Um, I have the tempo set to 85. So uh, let's see. So it's about right there. So you could play the chord progression like this. Or you can hold it out. That's half the time. So just get to practicing with that. If you need to play it slow at first, please do. But I want you to get comfortable with that chord progression. And then after you get comfortable with that pro progression, what you can do is you can create different rhythms. And what do I mean by that? So you can do, uh, for instance, instead of just playing on the downbeats, you might do something like, And that's actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn my loop function on. And so today, guys, you're actually creating a loop. So make sure you turn your loop function on. So here we go. Six, one, four, five, six, one, four, five. Six, one, four, five, six, one, four, five. All right. So it looks pretty clean to me, but just in case, of course, we're going to go to our quantize. I'm going to do one sixteenth. And looks like we got it. All right, sounds pretty good. Uh, next, you are going to add a bass. So find a bass that you like. And I usually use, my go-to is the Apple's bass. So remember, in the bass, you're playing the exact same thing. The only difference is you're not playing chords. So with the bass, you do not play chords. You only play one single note just one note so six which is e one which is g four which is c and five which is d so it becomes Got it? All right, so let's record that. Four. 
four, five, six, one, four, five, six, one, four, five. Our song is coming together quite well. So, of course, go to quantize one sixteenth and sounding pretty good so far. So we got that. Uh, next thing we want to do is add drums. All right. So, uh, so you're going to go to add track and then you're going to pick drums and drum machines. And I like the patterns and the beat maker cause I love to play. I really like to play my drums, um, on the keyboard. So, um, just a personal, personal preference for me so all right um so as you can see i have mine set up i'll just put it on the actually you know what i won't put it on the piano roll i'll just put it on the instrument roll uh, with this you can create any rhythm you want for me personally i like my kick drum to match my bass line so what that means is All right, so let's record that. So I got that locked in. Uh, next thing I like to do is maybe find a snare or a clap or just something that I can use for two and four. So it'll sound something like this. So I use a clap. Clapping on two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So then we got that. And then lastly, I usually like to add like hi hats. So with this, I can get as creative as I want. So let's see. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to try to do it on the fly. So as you can see, that wasn't very perfect. But the cool thing about it is, is when you attempt to play 16th notes, a lot of times you create some interesting rhythms once you quantize that maybe you might not have thought about, but maybe they sound kind of cool. So let's see what happens. All right, sounds pretty good. So that's basically what you're doing today. You're going to create a six, one, four, five progression. You're going to add bass, and then you're also going to add drums. Um, to help you all out, I will actually leave. Um, I'll leave these instruments in the template so you can use these if you would like. 
Um, if you want to change them, remember all you have to do is click right here and change the type of sound that you want. Um, but you don't have to. So I'll leave this template in here for you. Um, it'll already be set to 85 BPM. Uh, do not use loops um, unless you've already done these three things. Okay. So have fun. I'll be around um, to answer any questions and make sure uh, you get help if you need it. All right. See you later.